Hey everyone, welcome to our BB Can 12 episode 2 chat. Oh, hi. This was on criminally late tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Doug's going to town on a Nyla bone right now. I, he was just barking. I think you prefer this to the barking. I do. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have been fully sub, uh, submersed. Am I saying that right? Immersed? <laughs> yeah. I was submerged. Mixing, submerged. Sub. <laughs> Yeah. Don't even try. I had You've COVID had very, last week. <laughs> I had a very long day today. I watched like eight hours of feeds in the last 24 hours. Um, oh. I'm very tired. But anyway, it's, I have been fully immersed. It's episode two of season 12 of Big Brother Canada. Oh, okay. Last time they left a cliffhanger. They did. They are mean for that. <laughs> they do that a lot on the BB Can. Yeah. Uh, it was the safety comp, not the HOH. The safety comp. Do, 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 S, 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 A. I'm not going to put you through that. <laughs> it was in progress. We're in Canada, after all. Right. Um, this was a really cool comp. You had to lean forward on your little platform, hold on to your rope over your shoulder. It was very survivory. Yes. Yeah. It was. So it was, uh, the last three hanging off the platform was Tola, Matt, and Lexus. Mm-hmm. I honestly, I wasn't. I wouldn't have expected those no. three. The order to be that the everyone final fell three. off too was like unexpected. I like this competition because it felt like anyone could really like mm-hmm. go in there and win it. Right. So then uh, Matt fell off, <clears throat> and I was like, "Oh, really? Oh, Mr. <laughs> Personal Trainer? Yeah." So it was Lexus versus uh, Tola. Okay. And Lexus won. Whoa. What do you think of Tola being all like, this isn't hard for me at all. Meanwhile, he's like dripping with sweat. And peeing Something else pants. was dripping. <laughs> uh, he mentioned in the Digital Dailies that he like drank a lot before this competition. And, and like, he was literally peeing in his pants. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. And it's not the first time He either. said it's happened twice now that he peed during the comp. Pee on the pants. <laughs> What other comp was there? Maybe the HOH. Oh. Because <clears throat> I think he was talking about it after the HOH, but... What? He pee-peed in his pants. Yeah, anyway. Oh, I think um, you better get that checked out. Lexus won, so she <laughs> is safe for the week. She won safety, and she gets to make the first decision. She's going to decide whose entourage she will be joining. Okay. Anthony or Spicy V. And she chose Anthony. Mm-hmm. Or as as he uh, is referred to, Dougie. Dougie. Ducky. <laughs> right. So. Dookie. Yes. Um, as Poppy. we learned yesterday. <laughs> pee pee, poutine poppy. Yeah. Um, Victoria and. Who's Victoria? Spicy V. V. And Anthony will be facing off in the HOH competition. They're the only two people that could be. HOH this week. Right. Which I feel like is a lot. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't like how they pamper these uh, <clears throat> all-stars. If they're that all-star, they'd be able to save themselves. True. Honestly, I feel like they would have been fine if they didn't have safety this week. Yeah. The way that things are going so far. But anyway, um, they are facing off in the HOH competition, and whoever wins, their whole entourage is going to be safe. Right. And if you lose, your entourage is eligible for eviction, and that's a small pool to pick from. That is. So this is a very important decision, who you're going to side with here. Right. All right, so... It could be even smaller, potentially, because if the person who won the safety comp... Is in your group. Is in your group. And your leader loses. Yeah. Yikes. But you really, um, you wanted to do well in the safety competition because they were choosing entourages based Mm -hmm. on how well you did. Right. So the longer you were in the competition, the higher up on the list you were to make your decision. Yeah. So... A lot of people in the beginning were jumping on to Spicy V's entourage. Yeah, I mean, Tola, Matthew, Janine, they were all very strong in the competition, and they all went for Spicy V's entourage. Boom, boom, boom. Do you think uh, Poutine Poppy was like... I'm sure uh, he was a little bit like, what's going on here? Yeah, why doesn't everybody want me? Why doesn't my (laughs) entourage fill up and then... Everybody just has to go to Spicy V's by default. Mm. Can you Wouldn't imagine that if that wild? actually happened either way? That'd be yeah. so sad. But it didn't work out that way. It was pretty even after, you know, things caught up there. Who was the most surprising to you 
<clears throat> on, we pick one from each entourage. Um, that they chose that entourage. I'm a little bit surprised that Tola and Matthew went for Spicy V. Same. And for Anthony, let's see. Um, I, I'm a little surprised that Dennis uh, chose Anthony. Yeah. Elijah didn't have a choice. He was the he was the uh, last one. He, he didn't was the get last to pick. one. Yeah. Well, let's just list out the two entourages All just right. so we have the complete list. All right. Well, I'll take Poutine Poppies. Okay. That was Lexis, Donna, Vivek, Bailey, Dennis, and Elijah, okay. aka Goose. Yeah, Goose. I wonder why they call him that. <laughs> we know. <laughs> and then Spicy Bee's Entourage. I always have the urge to do it, but it's going to make me cough. Don't do it. Maybe later in the season. Okay. Um, Spicy Bee's Entourage. We have Tola, <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Janine, Avery, Todd, and Kayla. Does Todd okay. know what show he's on? Because no. I feel like he's just there for the party. I think he just jumped on her uh, Entourage because it was the closest <laughs> to where he was. <laughs> He just walked over a few steps and stopped, and they were like, okay, you chose Spicy V. I just get the impression that he doesn't know that, that much about the game, from what I've seen so far. He's there for a good time. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not a long time. We don't know. But anyway. Well, we'll see. So, uh, they find out that tomorrow <laughs> is the competition between Poutine Poppy and Spicy V for the HOH. Which I don't think that was even true. I think there was a day in between, oh. according to what we saw on the digital dailies. Unless maybe I'm rem remembering wrong, but I thought there was a day in between. Okay. They lied. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's take a break from all of this and let's talk about Vivek kissing his crush's ass, Dougie. Yeah. Uh, he was in the, what was it, storage room with they, Dougie. They meet a lot in the storage room, a.k.a. the dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> and... Anthony is going on and on about why the pretty boys were so great. Like, they weren't seen together that much. Nobody realized they were working together. Mm -hmm. And they were loyal to each other. And all this, Vivek is just like, <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me what I should do. I'll tell you what you should do. And Poppy was not too happy about that. Okay, he was all like, yeah, just so you know, <laughs> you're like the biggest target in the house right now. Which I don't even think is true. It seemed like the newbies before... The All-Stars got there. We're just like, we're getting them out right away. Right. Now and they're then, in love with them. Yeah. The second the All-Stars actually I mean, walked on the set, they were just like... Yeah, but they also do have immunity. So I know, like but they still. they can't I feel get like rid they're, of them even if they wanted to. I feel like they're obsessed with them already. Probably. Yeah. All right. Well, he said, go hang out with the girls. Don't be seen with me. <laughs> go. Goodbye. Yeah. I mean, everybody can see that the girls are forming something. So Anthony is trying to get everybody, every guy to try and infiltrate that girls group and break it up. When he, after Vivek left and uh, Anthony was in the storage room and he was like, he's got no idea. Did you get Scar vibes? <laughs> I can see that. I was like, woo, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> All right. So how about that BB Walk of Fame? Oh, I love that. On the upstairs, outside of the, uh, you know, HOH room. They had the stars so for all the winners. But I saw somebody on Twitter pointed out that they spelled John, as in John Party, wrong. J-O-H-N? Yeah, he's oh, a J-O-N. he is a J-O-N. So that's a bummer that they got that wrong. That's sad. Yeah. All right, so... <laughs> Tola keeps saying that he's a super fan. <clears throat> Tola was talking to Avery, who's also a super fan. But she's like, for real, for real. Actually, I don't even know if any of these people watch feeds. Yeah. I guess not anymore. But I, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't even know if any of these people <laughs> watch digital point. dailies. <laughs> I haven't heard well, anyone talk about live feeds. I've only heard They don't have like, to watch the this season. They're living it. I know. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So I don't know how much of a super fan... You can be without watching live feeds, but... Yeah. But, I mean, I feel like Tola doesn't have a clue what's going on. I feel like he's watched a lot, but... But I, I heard him talking to Spicy V on one of the digital dailies, and mm. it was like, do you know how the show works? Mm. I also just like, feel like... Are they actually talking strategy up there? <laughs> Socially, I think he's having a hard time connecting with people. Yeah. He's a little bit intense. 
Yeah. Um, so I think that's definitely causing some friction with his fellow house guests. Yeah. But yeah, he's all like, Avery is a bigger super fan than I am, so I need to look out for her. Like, Ugh. as in take her out, not like work with her. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, so we find out that Anthony and Spicy V are working together. I mean, I'm not surprised because it is 2 versus 12. Right. So, but I feel like it's genuine on Spicy <clears throat> V's end. I'm not 100% confident it is on Anthony's yeah. end. He called her his dog. I mean, I think he means like D A W G. I thought but he still. meant like I'm gonna use her. No, I thought it was like you're my dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, I think he meant it in a good way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you know like I'll get her to do the dirty work. Kind no, of thing. I feel like he's genuine about it right now, but I don't know what the situation's gonna be even in like a few weeks. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But I mean, he is pretty loyal, so. Right. Well, they're strategizing in the billiard room, and mm-hmm. they did find the uh, <laughs> the invisible HOH uh, trophy, which this, was a vase. The scene was actually really funny it on was the digital dailies, because she was, like, throwing a fit, being like, where's my trophy, blah, 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 and then she finally found it, she was like, oh, <laughs> oops, never dissed. <laughs> 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 Sorry, yeah. BB. Yes. So it was pretty funny. And they were also saying that they need to watch out for the super fans. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the targets that they're identifying right now are basically the people with the brains, right? Yeah. People that are not going to just go with the flow. They are there to make moves. They're there to play, you yeah. know? They're not just going to listen to whatever somebody tells them. So that is what they are considering the biggest threats right now. And obviously, I think that's smart, like... Well, I mean, yeah. especially Dougie is more worried than Spicy V because he... His game is control, right? Influence. Yeah. So... So if people have seen that on TV already, they know what to expect. He's got that mist, though. He's working the mist, and it's... It's misting. The mist is misting! I have to agree. People are falling for it. All right. He's smooth. What can I say? Yeah. Well... Spicy V has her own uh, groups forming her as own well. dog? Yeah. <laughs> and that's Avery. Yeah. I mentioned this in the uh, Digital Daily recap today. Mm. I'm really getting like Suri Izzy vibes. Yeah. Not that Spicy V is quite the strategist that Suri is. Right. But I just mean like we know that Spicy V <coughs> is one of Avery's favorite yeah. former house guests. And she's ready to, like, go to war. <laughs> yeah, and, like, keep Spicy V safe. They even came up with a little name for their little uh, pairing, mm-hmm. and that is the Havoc Hotties. They're causing havoc, and they're hot. Yeah. All right. So, Dougie is trying to mist Todd. <laughs> He's Todd, trying to talk to him. Todd is unmistable because he doesn't know what's going on. I don't think he was unmistable because uh, he was like, oh, so you, you picked uh, Spicy V's entourage. What's up with that? Because, like, we got it going on over here. And it didn't take much to get Todd to be like, well, I want to be over there then. <laughs> Let's go. But I feel like when it comes down to it, he's not invested any which way, you know what I mean? So he'll just do whatever, whatever he feels in the moment. He seems permanently confused. Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) I was listening to him the other day, and he works, like, really, really long hours. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't think he watches a lot of TV. He doesn't have, like, much of a... Is he like, construction company or something? Yeah, doesn't he have, like, two contracting businesses or something? Then he's uh, busier than a one-legged man at an ass-kicking convention. Yeah, I thought he said he works from, like, 5 a.m. to, like, 9, 10 p.m. Oh, so like it's us. a long day. Like us. Well, I don't get up at 5, but... Well, I get up at 6. And, but and, I stay up till 2! Uh, yeah, maybe longer. <laughs> All right, so uh, Janine is really pushing this girl's alliance. Yes, she is definitely the She's main the most. instigator here trying to pull this alliance together. And it seems really... Plausible, plausible at yeah. first. Like, people seem into it. Mm-hmm. Um, at first. Yeah. Honestly, though, I don't. I won't get into it because we're not there yet in the show. No. But that's for another day. All right. Um, or you can watch the the Digital Dailies recap if the you D-D's. want to know more about that. Yeah. Soak in the D. 
Um, all but right. this girls' alliance seems like it actually has promise. Like they're including all seven women, mm-hmm. which we never see. No. Uh, usually, if there's like a girls' al- <coughs> girls' alliance, it's like some of the girls, not Surprisingly, all. Surprisingly, the girls are not. They're not being catty. They're no. like getting along. Yeah. So it's cool. Okay. So then, <coughs> Dougie says he's not really feeling Dennis. Oh. Dennis is uh, too smart. He knows the game really well. He's older. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's not going to be block swayed. He's not like super impressionable. He's not in his 20s anymore. Right. His 20s. 20s. Yes. And he's a super fan, so chances are he's seen the mist. <clears throat> I mean, he knows how these all-stars play the game. Absolutely. Okay, well, watch out, Dennis. Uh <laughs> But let's have some comic relief. It's these angels. Oh. These pink angels. Uh-huh. And I was getting Grease vibes, like the pink ladies pink a little ladies, bit there. Yeah. I thought they were going to go that direction, but they went the ass out <laughs> yeah. uh, Charlie's angels, these angels. Right. So that was obviously Spicy V uh, and then Kayla and Donna. Oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't really seen this trio on no. the... They didn't the show digital it. dailies, so I don't know how legit this is, or if it was Pro- just like it was probably just, a just joke. like an early days thing. It's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know what was not a joke, but I'm not totally <clears throat> believing is Elijah, aka Goose's, uh, punch out story. Oh my God! What was that? Apparently, Bowie was barking for a minute during that, so I missed part of the story. Someone uh he came home from a night of ruckus partying oh or whatever two cups of tea. Oh. And, <laughs> and he goes to bed and uh someone's like breaking into his apartment. That's like my nightmare. Shining flashlights on his tech equipment, and he comes out and he does the old one, two. Oh, little <laughs> fisticuffs. Yeah. <laughs> like this. yeah. And knocks them out. Good for him. So, like, okay. Stay away from my technology. That's right. All right, that was fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad he's okay. You know what's getting really tired? Vivek chasing down uh, Dougie in the dumpster, a.k.a. Uh, the supply room. Yeah. <sighs> Basically, Dougie was like, I think you need to spend more time with the girls, infiltrate that, because... Well, the whole point of the pretty boys was not to be seen together. Right. And get out. You're, you're <laughs> being seen with me. Now get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... <clears throat> Spicy V is also... Tracking Dougie's moves in the storage room. Dumpster. Because she, yeah, she needs time to chat with him as well. Yeah, so as soon as uh, Vivek gets thrown out, she goes running over like Bette Midler in her heels. <laughs> and uh, she's like, all right, what are we doing? All right, so at first, Dougie was saying that he felt threatened by Matt, right? Matthew. Mm-hmm. That has changed because Matt had his little bro-down conversation right. with episode, but it was on the right. Digital Daily Right. So all is well in bro world. And now, Anthony is more focused on Janine Oh, and Avery. Because they're doing the most. <laughs> he has focused his attention more on the women now. They're throwing out that girls' alliance loud and proud. And I mean, like, they're not doing a very good job of hiding this. No. At all. <laughs> no. Especially when they have that little winner's fashion show. Mm-hmm. And all the girls are getting ready together. They like, all ran upstairs to put their winner's outfits on. This is which the perfect were chance for us to scheme. Freaking micro dresses. Oh my god, yeah. Did they get any shorter? You might have needed three hairstyles no. for the dress. Even the clothes that they gave them for move-in day, like a lot of those dresses were short. Yeah. I, I'm not for that. Mm. All right, so. I guess we're just two old ladies now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think <coughs> women need to be showing off their hoo-hahs. I mean... If they want to, go for it. But if they want to, great. Were they just, like, assigned those outfits? Did they have any input? I don't know. I'm feeling like they didn't have any input. I don't know. But the girls are having a grand old time, scheming, doing Putting their makeup. Putting on their eyeliners. Yeah. And the They're boys like, are... ooh, girls alive. Yeah, blah, let's... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's make a pact. Big and sister. Then, yeah, big sister. And then the boys downstairs are all like, there's a girls alive. There's a girls alive. I can smell it. I mean, doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, they're ready to just break that up. 
All right, fashion show was fun. Next, uh, the HOH comp. That okay. was a hard cut to the HOH it comp. It was. But guess who's back to host? <gasps> Daniel C. Daniel C. <laughs> Is he now Mrs. Zach? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, when we saw Daniel C. pop up, I was like, wait, who did he have a crush on last season? Zach. Yeah. All Crazy. Right. Crazy times. The guy who quit the show. Yeah. That I rem oh my God, that was so I'm wild. I'm quitting. We all win. That was such <laughs> a wild chain of events. It was. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy to see Daniel C. come back. I hope he's doing well. He still had his hat on. I had my ups and downs with him last season, but it's good vibes now. We're cool. Love I don't know him. Love him, love <laughs> I wish him all the best. Yeah. All right, so this, uh, he did a good job hosting. It was a first impressions quiz. Oh. But it was like almost like two or three <clears throat> comps mashed into one. Yeah. It was the get sprayed with paint comp. Mm hmm The popularity. Uh, right, you know, majority the superlatives. Vote. Yeah, the majority vote. And the head to head. Yeah. So it was multiple comps in one. I thought this was fun. It was a lot of fun. Either one of them could have won. Mm hmm it reveals things, which is great. And I thought it was it was good that they included all the house guests instead of just Sp Spicy right. V and Anthony facing off. Well. Right, Liam? Yes. She said apparently right before the competition, oh. Spicy V asked Anthony to throw the competition to her because she wanted to get a guy out. Now, they had already discussed multiple times that they were both open to throwing this competition because they wanted to make this move together, target right. somebody together. And now, when push comes to shove, and Victoria's like, hey, I think you should throw it. Of to course. Me. Yeah, Anthony's like, no. He doesn't say that. Right. But, you know, he's not going to throw this. Right. I think it was okay. He was okay with throwing it if it was going to get thrown to him. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought the first second yeah. that I heard him say that on the Digital right. Daily. Okay, so... You have to answer the question, which all were pretty gnarly. Yeah, so they get asked the question. All of the other house guests, all the newbies have to answer. For their Their entourage. Yeah. yeah. It was split up in the two entourages. So and there were questions like, most annoying. Most fake. Most likely to backstab. Somebody yikes. in their alliance. Uh, most likely to be a pawn over and over. Easiest to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Whoever uh, was the most regretful of their decision to join that. Uh, that was some pretty telling. It's already. Yeah. So you're supposed to answer truthfully. And then the entourage leaders are supposed to guess who they think the majority of their entourage voted for. Right. And if they got it right, they were okay. Right. But if they got it wrong, or if they were late, the last one to ring in with the right answer, they had to eliminate one of their entourage by blasting them with paint. Oh. Fun. <laughs> Some of them had more paint than others. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, there were two house guests in particular that really took a beating emotionally. <laughs> During this yes. competition. That was Donna and Tola. They were the answers a lot of the time, or at least that was who Victoria and Anthony right. picked. Yes. Victoria um, was always picking Tola for the most part, and uh, Dougie was always picking Donna. I thought Donna took it well. She, she took it in stride. She understood the assignment. Um, but Tola did not. Tola was very... Upset. Yeah. yeah. He was not happy that he was picked for all of these categories. Did I do something wrong? Did I make someone mad? I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> You're kind of rubbing people the wrong way, yeah. so there's something to it, but... Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, Poppy, it was pretty close. He was not throwing this competition. Uh, but then he won, like, three in a row, and then he ended up winning the whole thing. And Spicy V was like... What the she was really pissed. <laughs> she asked him to throw this. He clearly did not. Mm. So... So he won the HOH. Comp. Will she confront him about this, though? No. Yeah. Hi, come oh. here. Oh. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next show is Sunday night. Well, I just have to say, too, because okay. Anthony won, his whole entourage is safe. Right. And Spicy V's entourage is eligible for eviction. In except danger. for her. Yeah. She is safe for the week. Right. Yeah, the whole entourage is in uh, jeopardy there because the winning person from safety is on Dougie's. Right. Yeah. 
So it's going to be interesting to see who the noms are going to be. Do you have any um, idea? I mean, the last person that he mentioned being threatened by was Janine. Maybe Tola goes up next to her. I think that's probably a safe bet. To but say I, I also two. could see two girls. Because, you yeah. know, this is Anthony. We saw how he played in season seven. <laughs> or would he put up, uh, like, Janine against, like, a Todd? I mean, it's possible. As Todd is a pawn. Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know exactly, but I do feel like Janine is going to be his target. Yeah, she's doing too much. Yeah. But we don't know yet. We don't know in real time yet. We haven't seen the fallout from nominations. That mom's trying to control everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> let us know your thoughts on all of this in the comments. Oh my god, we'll be back tomorrow. Spoiler, or not spoiler, but, well. Digital, digital Daily. Digital Daily stream. Yeah. And then tomorrow we will also be. Recapping. Recapping the traitors. Both the finale and. The reunion. Yes. So it's going to be a late one. Um, Again. Yeah. <laughs> but. It's, it's almost midnight. At least we only have one Digital Daily to watch tomorrow. Yes. Woo. All Thank right. Thank goodness. Yes. So if you're not already watching those, I actually highly recommend them because they are putting good stuff really in there. I think they're really good. They're much better than last Big improvement season. from last season. Yeah. So check it Probably. out. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, much, much love. love.